Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Today we've got this lightbox gallery where we've got these six images laid out in a grid. And when we click on any of these, they'll pop up here. And you'll see we've got this kind of blur effect in the background, a shadow, a border. And then when we click anywhere, whether it's on the image itself or on the kind of surrounding area, it, uh, it collapses. So that's what we're going to build today. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started right away. Okay, so I've got some kind of basic stuff set up here. I've got this index.html page linked to this style sheet below. Just have some kind of basic CSS resets here. Um, then I've got uh, this script tag for my lightbox.js. I've deferred it, I've added it in the head, but deferred it so it won't load till after the body. Um, so that way we're sure that when we do event listeners and stuff like that, everything is first loaded before uh, this JavaScript file is loaded. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a few things here. We'll need a container div, and inside that we'll have an image, uh, images with zoom image as the class. We'll have six of those. And then just over this way, we've got six images. So we're gonna just grab those one kind of after the other. You'll notice that these are just nature photos, so that's what we'll call them. So image two, and I'll fill these out and be right back with you. All right, so we filled all six of those out, and now let's go ahead and make sure that this lightbox.js file is working. So we'll just console log it works, and jump over here, and it does work. You can ignore some of these errors, it's just the way I've got this set up right now. Okay, so we need to do a few things here. First of all, let's go ahead and style our container so it shows up the way it's supposed to. Uh, here right now we've got the images just kind of stacked one after the other. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, grab our container, and we'll do a grid here, and we'll do grid template columns, and let's do something like repeat three 200 pixels. All right, so we've got now our three columns there, justify content center, and align content center. Okay, finally, let's add a grid gap, and we'll add something like 16 pixels and a height of 100 view height. We want everything to kind of line up one after the other. Now, if I refresh this, you'll see we've got these images kind of stacked up in our grid, but they're not exactly behaving as we'd expect them to. And that's mostly here, let me expand this a little bit. Um, that's mostly here because of the way that we have ha just haven't styled these images. So with a little bit more room here, Let's go ahead and grab all those zoom images. We'll do a few things here. Let's do a width of 200, a height of 200. Uh, we want a cursor of pointer, and that way when we place our cursor over them, here they're gonna show. And as I refresh, you see it's already kind of taking uh, shape here just like we want. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a object fit cover. This one's sure that they're not stretched. And right now you see they're a little stretched. If these were pictures of people, you could definitely tell. But when I refresh, you'll see they stretch out kind of and take their full area. And let's make sure that the position um, is center, center, which means that just the very center of that image will be showing, which I think is going to be our default anyhow, but just to be sure. Okay, so we've got that kind of laid out as, we, as we'd want it to right here. And now the next thing we need to do is come over here and we're gonna actually create the whole lightbox element in JavaScript. And the reason we'll do that is because we can add and remove the entire kind of feature as we click on images. So we'll come over here and just do, let's call this const lightbox. Uh, we'll call it lightbox background, document.create element. And we're gonna create a div. Now this div, we're gonna give a ID of, we'll just call it, uh, light box background. Okay. Now let's come in here and we're going to add it to the body. So document.body.append child and we'll append that child to it. Now when we refresh this page, you'll notice nothing changes, but if we head over here to our elements and we inspect what's in our body, you'll notice that we actually do have this light box background here. So let's go ahead and style it since we've got it. And uh, let's add that styling. We want kind of that darkened color. So we'll grab that light box. What do we call it? Light box background, I think, with one large B there, all right? And we'll do a position fixed. This means it'll stay 
um, spread, you know, no matter where you scroll on the page. We want it to be above everything else. So let's do Z index like 150. Uh, and then we'll do top zero, width 100%. And we'll do a height 100% as well. All right, and then for background color, let's do something like RGBA, since we want there to be some kind of opacity to it. We'll do 150, 150, 150, and then 0 0.6. So if I go ahead and refresh here, you'll notice it just is right over everything just how we, we would want it. But I did want to add that kind of filter. And on this isn't supported in all browsers, but uh, it works nicely for those that are. And it's not like it hurts anything the way it is right now. It still looks great. But we'll add something like a backdrop filter of two pixels. Now when I refresh, you'll notice it's kind of blurred out everything uh, behind it there. Now lastly, we don't want it to display by default. So we're going to do display of none by default. Let's go ahead and close out this index.html. We won't need that anymore. Now, when I refresh the page, you'll see it's gone altogether. What we want it to do is we're going to add a class. Um, so let's go ahead and do lightbox.bg. And then when we had the class of active, when it has that as well, we're going to display it as a grid. And the reason we'll display it as grid is because we're going to place, create an image, and then place that image directly in the middle. So we'll do place item center. And you'll notice here there's nothing. If I come in here and add a class of active, then it shows up here again. And if I refresh, it's gone. Okay, so we're most of the way there. Let's come back to our JavaScript file, and now we need to do some work here. So we'll say const images. These are images. We'll do document dot uh, query selector query selector all. We're going to select that class that all these images share. The zoom image class. So we'll come in here, select that zoom image class. We've got them all. And we'll say images for each image. We're going to have this function. Well, we're going to add a, a, a an event listener. So add event listener. And the event listener is a click. And here's what we want to happen when any of the images are clicked. First of all, let's just make sure this is working. So we'll go console log clicked. OK, we'll come back over this way open our console, and we click an image, there we go, it's saying clicked every time. So we know we, we got something hooked up correctly. We've got it to where whenever we click an image, something is going to happen. Now, what do we want to happen? Well, you might remember whenever we have this light box active here, it should display. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Since we declared this constant variable for that light box background, we can now add it inside here. So we'll do light box background uh, dot class list. The add in the class we're going to add is active. We can test that out by coming over here. And whenever we click, it should show that. That's perfect. We've got to refresh now to get rid of it. And that's because we haven't created anything to get rid of that. But we'll do that in a moment here. So what we're going to want to do is if we were to just pull this image, like let's say we click to this image and pull it out of the grid, it would kind of rearrange everything on the page, which is a little distracting and disorienting for the user. So instead, what we want to do is we want to actually create another element. So we've created this div. We actually now want to create an image inside that div and then take whatever we click on it and take the source of that and add it as the source for the image that we've just created. So the way that's going to look is we're going to say const, uh, we'll call it lightning uh, light box image document.create element, and we're going to create an image. Okay, so we've just got kind of a blank image. It's nowhere right now. It's just uh, in memory here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this, and we're going to add a source to it. And the source will be whatever image we clicked on. It'll be the source of that image. So let, we'll just grab that image and say whatever its source is, that's what we want our created element to have as a source. Let's also... Let's add a an, an ID to this as well. So lightbox image ID, and we're going to call it lightbox image. Okay, so now we've created an element, we've added the source of whatever we clicked on, and we've given it an ID, but it's still not anywhere on our page. So finally, we're going to need to append child to the background. We'll append child, and the child we're going to append is the lightbox image image. 
Okay, so if we've done all of our stuff right, if we come over here and refresh, and now click on an image, there is our image. That's great, that's exactly what we want. Now we've got to refresh to get rid of it because we haven't created anything yet that will get rid of it. So let's do that now. So we'll say whenever that light box, light box is available, that background is available, we'll add an event listener, and the event listener will be a click, and on the event, we'll say lightbox background dot class list, and all we're going to do is remove that class list. All right, so if we come back here, refresh, we click anywhere, click anywhere again, and it gets rid of it. Now we've got one more problem here. You'll see that every time we click, it's just adding more images to this list. It's not getting rid of the previous image. So we've got to do one more thing up here. Right before we append it to this image that we've created, we want to check to see if there's already an image, if there's already a child to that uh, background. So we'll come in here and we'll say, we'll create a little while loop here. Lightbox background dot first child. All right, so if it has a child, we're going to say lightbox.remove child. And the child we're going to remove is the lightbox background.first child. Now, whenever we click, first we've got to refresh whenever we click and we close it down. Now, when we click on the second one, there's no more child. It actually got rid of the first child and then added uh, this, appended this as another child. So the last thing, we will, last thing we want to do here is go ahead and style this lightbox image that just popped up. You might remember that we gave it this ID of lightbox image. Let's go ahead and now add a max width of 80 pixels. And we'll do a max height, or 80% that is, max height of 80% uh, as well. This ensures that no matter where it is on the screen, it'll never be bigger than the screen itself. Like right now, it's kind of stretching all the way to the edge. We want it to always have a little bit of space around so um, people know where to click. It's not expanding beyond the, the viewport of the browser. We also had a little border on that, you might remember. So four pixels, solid, and white. And then we had a box shadow. And we'll do something like five pixels, five pixels. Let's do like one pixel, three pixels. And then let's do like 20 uh, pixels of blur. And we'll say we want it to be something like halfway opacity there. All right, that should be it. Let's come over here. And if we refresh, we're going to grab this first image. That's great. We'll grab the second image. Okay, so we've got a problem here. We do have our shadow, our border, all that's showing up correctly, the blur in the background. But you'll notice I clicked on this image first, and now every image I click on, it's only showing that first image. And we've got something light box is not defined. Okay, well, that tells us what's going on. We come over here. We must have light box somewhere in here. There we go. There's the culprit. So we'll come in here. Background is what we need. Let's go ahead and refresh this again. And we click. We shouldn't get that error. We're not, which tells me if we click out of here and click this one, we should have just these trees shown up. And there we go. Okay, so that was the problem. We figured it out. Hopefully that was helpful to even kind of debug that live. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Hopefully this was a, a help to you. And I hope you have a great time trying it out yourself. Happy coding.